you have DK, you have the loser of T1 versus the BOG, you have KT. It looks like a lot of Asian teams there. And maybe Fnatic. <laughs> oh, oh, Fnatic, oh. please. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be more rough, yeah. for sure, to, yeah. to, get, to get out. Yeah. But if we can get out, then that will be... That, that's what matters, right? Mm. <laughs> Hopefully everyone will... <laughs> oh. You know, this, this day is pretty uh, dramatic. I uh, feel very, very bad about that day today. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna focus up for next time. Hey guys, this is Ashley Kang of Horizon Esports and I'm joined by Hans Summer, the bot laner of G2 after they do go 0-2 against NRG on the second stage of 2023 World Championships stage. Um, Hans Summer, yeah, I will say there was an upset. It's not an easy day for you. How are you feeling right now? Uh, I feel... Uh, maybe I feel a bit disappointed, mm. maybe. A little like a little bit. I mean, it just uh, it just happened. I'm I'm not sure. Uh, mm -hmm. My thoughts are like, uh, how did we have such uh, games like mm -hmm. game one, game two? Yeah. Um, I feel like we weren't really uh, doing our usual stuff yeah. uh, that we usually do every game. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe that's. I'm not sure. I need to process all all the things, but it yeah. feels uh, pretty shocking that uh, we lost today yeah. because. Uh, uh, came up uh, mm. confident. Mm. I think we had a good week. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, it's pretty shocking. <laughs> <laughs> you know, of course, Energy was a strong team, but there was so much trust and confidence going into D2 from the fans. Um, you said that today was also shocking for you and you weren't playing the game you usually do. When, At what point did you start feeling like something was a bit amiss? You know what I mean? Mm. <sighs> I think it happened from time to time that we have games, early game uh, explosions mm -hmm. that, that happened uh, the first game and, yeah. it's, and it's fine, I guess. Most of the time we can come back uh, the second game. Mm -hmm. uh, but I guess uh, yeah, the, the first game, um, the, the, um, I guess they caught us by surprise with the picks they were playing. Yeah. Uh, it was good from them, uh, mm -hmm. props to them. They, they had a good strike coming up to the first mm -hmm. game. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, I guess we failed a lot of uh, our plays. Uh, mm -hmm. We were kind of playing very slow mm -hmm. to make those plays. Not playing yeah. the game slow, but just yeah. slow at, at executing them. Mm. Uh, I think the second game, uh, uh, I guess we just played bad. There's not much to it. I feel like they were uh, quite uh, confident uh, going for aggressive plays mm -hmm. uh, against us. Uh, mm -hmm. So they were the better team today, definitely. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because moral and confidence is such a big factor when it comes to especially big stage games, right? Would you say that G2 was also a bit surprised by the result of Game 1 and that impacted their performance in Game 2? Uh, G2, I mean, I'm not sure. I'm personally just surprised that it went that way, that one-sided uh, Game 1. Mm -hmm. uh, we should uh, put up uh, more, more of a fight. Uh, mm -hmm. Definitely, I think the second game we could uh, really, uh, really win it. Uh, for sure, something fell off that we we were always missing our plays. They were uh, they were getting a lot of tempo in the map all the time. They were they were they were, catch, well, they were also catching us a lot. Uh, we were not precise enough. Uh, I think the second game for sure we win it uh, if we were playing a bit more correctly. I, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure what happened today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you go need, need to go back yeah. to the hotel and then ball review and mm. conversation. Okay, FBI did say something on the broadcast interview and then I was like hesitating on asking about this but everyone's talking about the evolution of the bot lane meta right now. FBI said that they left Zaya open because he thought that you weren't that confident in it. I wasn't that confident in it? Yeah. Uh, I was not that confident in it. Uh, the game I played uh, against the LPL for Seed. Mm. Because uh, I guess uh, I wasn't expecting to play Zaya today, but it was very good on the draft. Mm -hmm. But I played a lot of Zaya recently, so mm -hmm. I'd say I'm confident on it, mm -hmm. uh, comfortable on it. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. Like, yeah. now people are arguing all over the, like, in the communities. Like, did RNG just enter God mode or did G2 just, like, you know, have, like, an off day today? Which, 
What do you think is closer to? Uh, enough day today, pretty no, much. Either, yeah, either energy just entered like a complete god mode or... Uh, uh, maybe a bit of both. <laughs> I guess they were, they were pressing us, so they felt like confident. They were yeah. playing very aggressive. They were oh. not getting caught, uh, which was something that is, I guess, hard to do. But they weren't, they weren't really getting caught. Uh, also, I think the champs helped them mm -hmm. a lot at not being co uh, getting caught because they have I remember they had Senatam, very safe uh, when you enter the mid game. Uh, it's hard to catch uh, unless they really, really run it down. Uh, second game, they are severe and uh, we have Nautilus and I guess we can just go on Rakan, but he was, uh, was always escaping. Uh, also, probably we have an off day and uh, <laughs> I for okay. sure think we can play way better than that. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, uh, it's such a pity that we lost. Uh, we would. Uh, yeah, maybe it's uh, day we were just... You'll be celebrating, you're going to call them I don't Yeah, uh, but we're gonna have to focus up uh, for the next uh, the next time, uh, whoever we face. Uh, we have yeah. to focus up, keep try-harding, not, not, not lose faith, uh, not, uh, not feel less confident, but really, really try to find a way to, to make us play the right game like, that we want. Who do you want to face? You have TK, you have the loser of T1 versus um, BOG, you have KT. It looks like a lot of Asian teams there. And maybe Fnatic. <laughs> oh, oh, Fnatic, oh. please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I wouldn't mind trying to to, to play against uh, like a banger game against uh, I don't know, a team like uh, DK. Yeah. Again. Uh, yeah. Hey, there is like a head to head record right now, you know. <laughs> yeah. In this world, at least. It's going to be more rough. Yeah. For sure, to, yeah. to get to get out. Yeah. But if we can get out, then that will be that, that's what matters, right? Mm. <laughs> Hopefully, everyone. Will, <laughs> oh. You know, this this day is pretty uh, dramatic. Uh, feel very very bad about that day today. Uh, yeah, I gotta focus up for next time. Any final? As we slowly close the interview off, any final message that you wanna leave? to the fans or to your teammates or whoever you want to, you know? Um, I'm sorry for the fans that were cheering for us. Uh, that's pretty much a big disappointment. Mm. And for us, even more that we lost today. Mm. Uh, I hope that you guys will keep cheering for us. Uh, we will come back stronger. I really, I really think we can come back stronger. Uh, yeah, thank you for the support. You will make it to quarterfinals, right? Yes. I'll trust that. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you.